going on YouTube? It's Ali Dope and I'm checking in once again. And today I want to show you how to animate a movie poster. Now, some of my favorite movies are Paid in Full, Goodfellas, Back to the Future 2, not 1. But as with everything, even movie posters have evolved over time. Out with the advancements in technology, we could take movie posters to the next level by adding animation. Why would you want to animate a movie poster? By animating a movie poster and adding that skill set to your repertoire, you can create more dynamic and engaging pieces of promotional materials for an audience. These animated posters will be able to capture the viewer's attention and leave a long lasting impression to remind them like, I really gotta go see that movie. In this specific tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add motion and animations using Adobe After Effects. So this is a medium to advanced tutorial. If you already know a little bit about Photoshop and you already know a little bit about motion graphics, this is a, this is a helpful tool to help you elevate your game. Now, if you haven't yet, please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a drop and leave a like for me, please, so the algorithm knows it's lit. Yes, sir. But without further ado, let's make some computer magic and let's hop into it. Yes, sir. We gotta use Photoshop to break down some of the elements so then we can go ahead and animate it in After Effects. So follow me. Let's go ahead and name this real quick, Air Poster. I will select just the text first. I feel like that's the easiest way to like go in with this. And instead of picking each word. Now, ideally you would have the PSD. You can change this text, but I don't know exactly what text they use. So each little letter can come up. So sometimes you just have to treat text like you treat images. Sometimes that's just the way it is. Go ahead and cut this out. Layer. Oops. You're gonna go right click layer via cut. As you can see, it's empty now. Boom. And then we'll have this, we'll name this top text. Boom, air poster. Click on this. Oop. Click on the inside. Feather, expand this by like three pixels. Boom, and then we could just go ahead and like paint that in. And then, oops, you wanna kinda have the same. It looks like a little off. So I just wanna make sure the colors are the same. You can easily use the eyedropper tool to like the subject. So now that the subjects are selected, you wanna just try to keep this. So you can save the selection. Boom gonna name this um, people now that I saved the selection the selection is here under this people selection so any point in time I can go back to that boom right there we go edit cut paste back to like right at where it's like at the spot cool All right we're gonna name this one Chris cool so with Chris what we're gonna do for Chris is go back in here click on this for where we cut his head out of from there to there to all of this edit content aware fill and we're just going to fill that in apply press ok Now that's for cutting out something simple, which is just cut out, cut out, cut out, cut out. So we're gonna save that, open that up in Premiere. All right, so now we just hopped into After Effects. Let's get that open. So now that we have After Effects open, we're gonna go ahead and create a new composition. Go to your file or whatever, drop your file right in there. Boom, bang, bang, bang. bang, 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 bang. All right, so now it's gonna give you this pre-composed layer with all this stuff in it, but everything is pretty much laid out, right? You just want to double check the composition settings to make sure it's what you want. 
uh, I don't really need it to be that long. I can make it like 15 seconds. That's fine for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. And as you can see, it looks just like it did, you know, when we finalized it and had all the layers on the last time, right? So we're gonna start off with a blank background and I wanna bring in all the main characters first and then all these titles and things like that. So like anything that says text, titles, and you know has words, go ahead and like move that back a little bit. Now, besides just the actual movement into the picture, we still have to give it some sort of movement or something like that. So now we have Chris. So for Chris, we're gonna go ahead and make sure you toggle on some of these, make sure sometimes they just don't be selected. We're just gonna make sure everything has motion blur just because what's motion blur? What's a video without motion blur? You know what I'm saying? So we wanna come and like slide this in within the first like 0.10 seconds to bring it in. So to bring it in, I really do want it just to come from the top. And now sometimes they have presets over here like always, but it's normally for text. So we give it a text and we just do slide and then drop. You wanna do it where it, it, it's at the beginning. So slide and then drop, see what it looks like. I like that. So like as it's sliding in right here, maybe now we move Matt or Ben up and then maybe Ben will come and move to the left side. So like the final position is obviously gonna be here. So go to the end of this, go ahead and create a keyframe for the position, go to the beginning and then wherever you want to come in. So I want to come in from the side. So that's where it's gonna do. Right click keyframe and I'm gonna go easy in. But I wanted to come in as it's swooping down a little bit, like right here. I want this to start to come in. So like as this is swooping, yeah. I know I wanted to hit by this time. So we're gonna go ahead and create that position marker right there. We're gonna slide it in. We'll pause, pull it over to the side. And we're gonna go ahead and boom. So it's like stacked, stays a little bit. Right now we're just bringing everything in. You just wanna keep doing that same thing. And we're only gonna focus on the images right now. Now we got the main people coming in. Fa, 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 fa. A beautiful puzzle piece. Look at that. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> yes, sir. So, what I do want to do is go in and add a couple of touches onto like Ben Affleck's glasses just so it has a little bit more motion at the beginning. We're going to go in here. And you know, guys, I love light sweep. So, we're going to go ahead and light sweep. Click on this. Duplicate it, Ben 2. And then for this, I just want to select his glasses. So you're gonna click this pen tool and then just click on, make sure you clicked on Ben 2. So it's a good mask. All you have is a picture of his glasses right here. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and add light sweep, CC light sweep. Everybody has it, it's free. Ben 2. And all we're gonna do is play with the settings a little bit. The width is like cool sweep intensity and then you want to change the center using this little thing right here click this all the way off and then what are we doing we're going to create a keyframe by the time it gets to the next one by the time it gets to him this should have one good sweep on it then bring it back have another good sweep on it you're gonna go to U, and then literally all I'm gonna do is copy and paste those on every second frame. Boom. Oh, click on these. Easy ease. Close this out, turn Ben back on. And now you can see with Ben's face, that's five. So Ben, we're gonna go ahead and pre-compose that name this bin just so we know if you want to take it up another level <laughs> i would have cut the people out of the background so then the people would have had like a a whisking motion 
on the side i was just too lazy to do all that but if you really wanted to you could have it and then the players or the person's head could be moving and nodding side to side if you really wanted all that type of motion i'm just showing you like i said a quick version of it i'm just making like the what the watches stuff like that i want to bring in some of this empty space here so the first thing i'm gonna do is bring the title so they even know what movie we're watching if you're like on the way and you're just walking past and you just seen it real quick i would be like oh what is that you know what i'm saying or something like that boom so what i did i threw roughing edges on i turned the border all the way up to the top right here and like maybe like three like one second and i put zero border so now it has like it's like that but i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna move it up like as she's sliding in right here move this over so that it can start to build boom as the air comes maybe i can like drag it out just a little bit nothing too crazy now with that i would want to bring in these top titles just so people know who's in it because that's going to be the main part people care about when they walking by who's in it what's the movie called so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna do some quick stuff with this all i'm gonna do is actually just do a quick little slide like pick one of these animation presets image creative they have a bunch of transitions stuff like that i like movement stuff yeah i like that i use 3d tumble for this one so like as this is bubbling boom 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 it's about to end. Move this over a little bit. The text. Maybe we can start rounding in who's it directed by and written by next. Boom, at the bottom. And now for this one, I do want to bring them in separately um, from different angles. So that's why I split them up right here. Click on them. Click P, you know, not for player, but position. It's the same thing. All right, cool. So go ahead and move this to the front. This is directed by, we're gonna have this coming from the left or from the right. Stretch, move this one. This one here, oh, maybe stagger it just a tad, not even too crazy. I don't want to stagger it too crazy. Double click on this. Easy, easy. Oh. And as this is coming up, I feel like the logos and the credits should get the same treatment as the air title. So we can copy this. And then we're gonna go Logos Credits, paste those. Yeah. Let's go date and recording. That's gonna be last. Same thing. P for position. All right, so that's pretty much like the base of it. Bong, 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 bong. Cool, not, like I said, you wanna go in there, add some like fancies to everything. I would go add like a glow on his watch. Control D. You can go ahead and click on the layer again. Like I said, just click on the watch. The watch is selected, go to glow. Boom, so all I did, was add glow on the top. They have an, a random opacity meter or whatever. So I just clicked on that. And now as you can see, it's like a little, it's not too heavy, but it's there. It's there, but it's not like too crazy. But the watch is blinking. The watch is blinking. If you wanted to, you could do that for each person or whatever like that. And then literally this would be up on the screen. And then it would just keep looping and keep looping and keep looping and keep moving. Like that's why you always kind of just started with something on the screen and then it's gonna keep looping and keep looping and keep looping. That's pretty much it. I didn't wanna make this too complicated to start adding a bunch of effects on top and thing. Like, I just wanna show you guys like, it could be as simple as this. It could go even deeper, even further. 
But I just want to be able to show you guys that like it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Like it's different type of ways. You I hope this helped you and got your gears turning for your next project. Now remember to use this as inspiration and continue to push the creative boundaries of what's possible. Don't be afraid to experiment, try new things, and most importantly, have fun with it. You create for a living. What's more fun than that? As always, thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep hustling, and most importantly, keep creating. Yes, sir. And until next time, I'll be dope. I'm checking out.